Hello everyone, it's time for your weekly catch up with me, Angelina Speedling. Let's get started. Around the world, scientists have become baffled by the rising number of two-headed sharks. Warning, some images may be disturbing to some viewers. Most believe that overfishing has caused sharks to begin inbreeding. The first, however, recorded case was in 2008 in Australia. In 2013, a group of Florida fishermen found a two-headed fetus in a large bull shark. Recently, scientists in Spain have discovered a two-headed embryo of an Atlantic sawtail cat shark, a species found in the western Mediterranean. Although it is highly unlikely that these double headers can live past infancy, it still possesses a threat in a different way. These abnormalities could be an effect of not only overfishing, but possibly poisons in the water or because of overpolluted waters. We as the human race need to start taking action when it comes to saving Mother Earth. Well, America, it happened. The election has shown our nation's true colors, and at next year's inauguration, Donald Trump will become president. Trump beat Hillary's 218 electoral votes with his 276, proving you really don't need political experience or the popular vote to become the leader of our nation. The Republican Party also won the U.S. House and Senate this election, paving way for a full Republican presidential term, which means Trump's presidential plans will most likely follow through. Locally, justice has brought the shooter of the Halloween party into the light. On Friday afternoon, 17-year-old Nigel Johnson was found and taken into custody in Richmond, Virginia. Johnson will be facing murder charges as a result. Extradition of Johnson from Virginia to New York is being worked upon by the City of Newburgh Police and Orange County District Attorney's Office. Our condolences go out to the families of Omani Free and Tabitha Cruz. Have a nice day, Goldbacks.